Turning to Great Britain, where Boris Johnson is the current and likely last prime minister. His appointment is seen as a victory for those who prefer a sharp break from the EU or a hard Brexit, and a defeat for those who wanted to maintain close ties, a.k.a. a soft Brexit. By the way, hard and soft are not words you want to use when talking about Boris Johnson. <laughs> Thank you. Now that Boris is PM, it seems only right that we apologize for some of the things that we have said in the past that were inaccurate. For instance, we previously said that he trampled a child in 2014, when actually that happened in 2015. <laughs> so, uh, we also claimed he looked like a possessed Victorian schoolboy, <laughs> even though he is clearly Gary Busey at a wedding. <laughs> Finally, we said he was England's Donald Trump, but he is actually the Donald Trump of England, Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales. Our apologies. Johnson moved quickly, firing over a dozen ministers and replacing them with people willing to support leaving the EU without a deal. The Tory party has basically been taken over by the far right. It's like in Winter Soldier when it turned out Hydra was secretly running S.H.I.E.L.D., only with no Captain America and somehow more Nazis. <laughs> but things aren't all bad for Boris. China has already invited him to visit Hong Kong so he can show the protesters that democracy doesn't work. Get into it. The Beaverton. Only on CTV.